Hey, welcome back to this channel. As you can see, I am on my usual distal where I will be teaching you how to play the new Super Mario Paper game that was launched on Nintendo Switch today on your Windows device. In this case, that will be easy. I will be teaching you all the instructions to be able to configure the emulator and also be able to download the additional files that are necessary to be able to use this emulator. So in this case, please follow up all the steps that we're using and keep in mind that the additional files always will be on the commentary sections on the pink one. So please uh, follow up all the steps. So the first one will be download the Regents emulator that you'll be able to download on the official page on regents.org downloads. Over here, you only have to press Windows and download this one. And I will be saving this on my desktop. Perfect. After that, we will have this file. You only have to extract this. I will be preferred to extract on the regions of folders over here. Perfect. We have the emulator over here extracted and we own the files. So in this case, we only have to open the regions file over here. Just wait a few seconds while it's all unchanging here. Okay, and there you are, we have the emulator totally launched and installed on your computer. So the next step that is also important to be is extract the additional files, I prefer to start over here, and we we'll have two folders, the firmware and the keys. So what we need to do is go to files, open regions folder, and over here, this is important that we have to place the keys over here. So we have to select this and place the keys on the Regisum's system folder. Perfect, we have the key installed on our emulator and the next step that is also important will be install the firmware. How will we do that? Just easy, go to tools, install firmware and install a firmware from a directory. Go to, we have our firmware, select folder. And I will be asking you to replace the current version. And in this case, I have this virtual slide on my, on my resource folder. I will be press yes. And that will be all. I have my in system installed on the release emulator. So that will be all on that part. The next one will be configure the emulator to be able to play the games. In this case, the first one will be configure the input. I will be selecting my Xbox One controller that I have here connected. You can select the keyboard or just configure it and make sure that I'll be using a Pro controller. On system, I prefer this to use on USA and system language I have the preferred one to you. And that will be all on this part in CPU. Make sure you have these options activated in graphics bar, have Vulkan, and also here in resolution scale, the resolution that you want to use. I will be using 2x. Dental yasing, I always recommend to have this one in scaling and filter to FSR on 80%, and that will be all. That will be all. We have don't have to need to change anything else. After that, we have to press OK. And the next step that will be in at the directory that we have our games. In this case, my games are saved on <clears throat> in this folder. Here we have to go and add the directory that we have our games. In this case, I have on the games folder. Select so this folder, apply, and just with that, I have the game. That I prefer to use in this case that would be the Mario Paper the thousand year door. So the next step just will be double tap on the game and that will be launching on the emulator. With a few seconds, we will be charging the emulator over here. Perfect. It will take a few seconds. Okay. 
sorry just have to restart again the emulator okay go ahead and press again the emulator Okay. And as you can see, the game is running without any issues. Sometimes that can happen that the emulator just closed and you need only to reopen and that will be working perfectly without any issues over here. And that would be all, as you can see, the game is running perfectly on the emulator, even is mm, running a lot of FPS, as you can see it's running to 110 FPS, that would be too much to be honest, but that would be a good one. Okay... We have this cinema and as you can see the game is totally running properly without any issues on our windows device without any problems so please make sure to follow all these steps and also make sure that you are using the additional files that i'm leaving on the commentary section folder so in this case that will be all it was a pleasure me serving you and helping you on this um, video if you need more assistance, please leave in the commentary section. I'm more than happy to help you. Bye bye.